Welcome to the Accu Web Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to add a new subdomain in Jupyter C panel theme. If you want a PDF file of this video tutorial, you can download it from our Telegram channel, Accu Web Hosting. We have mentioned our Telegram channel link in the description. Kindly click on the link and find the PDF file of this video tutorial. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. What is subdomain? A subdomain is a part of a larger domain name in the domain name system, DNS, hierarchy. It is a prefix to the main domain name that is separated by a dot, in the URL. For example, in the URL, blog.example.com, blog, is the subdomain of, example.com. Subdomains are often used to organize a website's content and create distinct sections that are easily identifiable. They can also be used to point to a specific IP address or server within the larger domain. The Jupyter theme has replaced the outdated paper lantern theme in cPanel and brings several updates and improvements. One of these changes is the consolidation of the add-on domains and subdomains options under the new domains option. This makes it easier to manage your domains in one place. The process of adding a new subdomain in the Jupyter theme of cPanel is straightforward and can be accomplished by following a few simple steps. Let's see how you can add subdomains in the Jupyter cPanel theme. Step 1. Login into your cPanel account. Step 2. Once you have logged into your cPanel account, navigate to the Domains section. In this section, you will find a blue button at the top right corner labeled Create a new domain. Click on this button to begin the process of adding your new subdomain. Step 3. To add a subdomain in the Jupyter cPanel theme, you will need to enter the name of the subdomain in the domain text box. Step 4. Uncheck the option that says share document root home username public underscore HTML with domain.tld. This will ensure that the files for this subdomain are not stored in the same location as your other domains. Step 5. Next, you will need to specify the directory where you want the files for this domain to be stored. Step 6. Once you have completed these steps, click on the Submit button to add the new subdomain to your cPanel account. Congratulations! You have successfully created a new subdomain in Jupyter cPanel theme. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to add a new subdomain in Jupyter C panel theme. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have access to the PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.